Yeah, it was, uh, you know, you can kind of get your breath a little bit. Your game planning, which, you know, you're, you get ahead of that. You get three practices under your belt. And so you come into this week not as uh, stressed for time because you've probably had 90% of the game plan done by today. Um, and then, you know, it's not an off week. You know, we're out, we're, we're working. You just kind of put your priority on um, the recruiting side of it for about three or four days. Uh, so that's good to kind of catch up, get out, see some coaches and evaluate some kids. Um, and, uh, you know, it came at a good time. It came at a good time right in the middle of the season. We, we had some bumps and bruises that I think those three or four days were huge in uh, getting some guys healed up. What is it like to, to, to balance that of having to look, you're out looking for the future, but I'm sure Kansas and the rest of the season is going to be fine too. Well, no, you, you mean – at the first of last week, we approached it like we were playing Saturday. So uh, our regular schedule on Sundays and then Monday and then Tuesday is, is you know, we approached it like we were going to play on Saturday. Uh, so then you're able to, I guess, have the confidence and the security that that's done. So now on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, you could shift your mind to recruiting. Um, uh, so, uh, like I say, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, it was great to do a little of both. And you always feel like you kind of get behind in recruiting, and you're really not because everybody's doing the same thing, going through the same stress and grind that you are. But it's just human nature. So kind of reconnect with some coaches and see where you're at with some kids. So you better watch a lot of tape. Oh, yes, sir. I mean, I, I, I have a problem watching a lot of tape of other guys, man. It's, you know, I still pay attention to their tendencies and, you know, they're down, so he's probably going to try to scramble a lot. He's going to try to get everything he got, but we we definitely be prepared for it. Thank you. Man, they're starting to starting to give some of the, the bigger teams in this conference some scares. I mean, like, what's it saying about the conference as a, as a, as a whole now that, you know, KU starting to compete, Iowa State starting to compete? Like, I guess what's that saying about the conference? Um, that nobody's going to lay down for nobody, you know. It's a it's a scoring type lead, you know. So people just gotta just understand that, you know, anybody is capable of anything at, at any given time. So we just can't just, you know, just look over them and things like that. And plus, they play better at home anyway. So we just can't just be lacking of confidence and you know think we're just gonna roll over anybody. What are you seeing out of them so far this week? Um. They just they compete. They play. They definitely play better at home. You know, they just come off a, a bad road game against a, a great team. I think they ranked in the top ten um, in the nation now. You know, they're a great team. You know what I mean? But they just they a great team. They have great chemistry. You know, they know they you know down right now. So they it just makes them more you know competitive and come together as one as a team.